Nope, never had that urge either. Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm a prude, you know? I could be just a prude. Uh, what's fucking next? <laughs> what could top that? Oh, page not found. Fuck, nothing can top that, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's check your fucking watch. It's 420 somewhere. Time for your 420 break. Should I be getting made for this, boys? Water bomb so smooth, you don't realize how high you're getting. Till it's too late. I am fucked up out here. <laughs> feeling good about myself hopefully you're feeling good about yourself too on this fine motherfucking weed in this day and uh yes the 420 break is my at least weekly listen in reaction to stoner rock and or metal and this is probably going to fall somewhere along the lines of grunge punk because it's going to be the melvins it's going to be my first time listening to the melvins the melvins is a band that i'm very aware of uh, I'm pretty sure I know uh, uh, the singer Buzz, uh, his name. <laughs> uh, is it Buzz Osborne? I don't know that that's true. Uh, but, like, his hair stands out to me when I think of him. I know he's got, like, nutty fucking wild hair. And I know they are super, super influential bands of a lot of bands I love, including, like, all the Seattle bands, Nirvana, you fucking name it, man. And, but, like, a lot of bands, they're just a band I've never <sighs> explored uh, until now. So, the 420 break for today will be the Melvins. Um, and uh, I know this is considered probably some sort of uh, stoner rock or stoner metal because it is on my Loudwire stoner rock and metal playlist. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck yeah, and what a better time than now to give a listen to the Melvins. Boris from the Melvins, from the Bullhead album from 1991. Let's roll. Woo! So that tone. Super fucking gnarly riff, man. Uh, so fucking heavy. Still trying to, with reactions, especially to like singers that are totally unique. 
it definitely takes you a little bit of time to like sink in with what they're doing, uh, how those vocal melodies are weaving around the fucking instrumentation. Uh, I am enjoying this. I'm just trying, again, first listen to a band uh, that you've heard so much about. You don't know what the fuck to expect. Uh, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm catching this, I'm catching this. So that's where we're at right now. And there's still something off kilter uh, about it. I don't want to say weird necessarily or weird. What are the time? I, I don't know this shit, man. I'm a seasoned listener, but I don't know f- like times and time signatures and these things. Uh, it feels off kilter. Definitely hard to like uh, catch and predict a vibe. Definitely. It's weird, man. His, his vocals. I don't not like, uh, but I'm just trying to figure out how they fit and what he's doing. It, it's like his voice is almost as off kilter, uh, almost as off kilter as the instrumentation. You know what I mean? Does that make sense at all? Probably not. <laughs> I think they're just all about fucking you up. That riff is fucking dirty under there. Under there.
whoa, what's going to happen? Like, I really feel like they are all about fucking you up. We're just going to like, it's kind of like anti-groove in a way, which is totally opposite of anything I expect or want to hear uh, in, in, in like a stoner rock song. I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, I expect stoner rock, uh, it's super sludgy and it's super stonery, but there is a groove element to it. Uh, there is something you can just fucking sit in and vibe with. And I'm there is that a little bit. <laughs> There's some cool shit happening. But it's so anti-groove and off-kilter that it's just like, uh, uh, I think they're doing it intentionally. Also, I didn't really realize that they were classified as like a stoner rock band. I did look them up on Wikipedia just a moment ago and see that they are quite uh, known as a uh, stoner rock sludge metal band kind of thing. But I thought they were mostly like punk. Uh, the point of the story is is that it's anti-groove, and I think it's intentional. Well, that was definitely one of the most fucking different, interesting, goddamn rock and roll songs I've ever heard in my entire life. I uh, am totally intrigued. So many thoughts on this, man. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to them all. I'll probably lose some thoughts uh, just talking about this. But uh, intentionally, I'm sure, uh, I think that song was designed to totally off-put people and to keep them on edge because it is the opposite of fucking, I am really high, and I am really easy to just fucking get into a tune and just vibe out. You know what I mean? It's super easy. This was totally different. This was such a fucking, it must It must be an intentional listen to see what's coming next, which automatically I enjoy. Uh, 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 there, again, it is... If the rest of their music is like this, I don't know if I would appreciate it. I feel like, because it's not one of their most listened to songs, at least on Spotify, that I'm seeing, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. But I feel like this song was so deliberate in order to just make you feel like, ugh. <laughs> kind of like what the fuck especially like those vocals at the end man like they were really cool and really sinister there's some cool things instrumentally going on but it's just 
made to kind of give you that uneasy feeling and you don't really want to sit with it that long. And it went eight minutes. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad I fucking listened to it, man. And I totally want to listen to more Melvins. So uh, throw those suggestions in the comment sections and, uh, you know, we'll go from there, man. Fucking A. Hey, that's your 420 break. Eat some Doritos. Chill out. Get your ass back to work. Hey, oh, man. I got the fucking munchies real bad. How about you? Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> what the hell? Everything!